Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Coming at you right now, Fred Nesper and Kirk Herbstreit. Florida has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. And the final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The Seminoles always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. If you're the defensive coordinator, you've got to be frustrated with the way your defense gave up that first down. The defense has got to do a better job of recognizing the screen and then chasing it down from behind, especially the defensive lineman. They've got to see whether it's the quarterback or the offensive lineman to tip the screen and then help the rest of the defense be able to slow that play down and not give up that first down. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 34. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Nice run up the middle. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 15. And down he goes around the 19-yard line. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. Tenth play of the drive. Complete and taken down immediately. Adams gains about four yards there. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Florida State is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's take a look at this traditional match showdown. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. The Broncos get the victory, 21-17. Meanwhile, land-grant institutions play for the land-grant trophy. Michigan State and Penn State despise, disdain, dislike. Other than that, these two teams get along really well. Up and down the field they go. Looks as if last team with the ball will get the win. We're all tied up. All right, thanks, Reese. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Big opening. 
He's to the 40, and they make the stop at about the 45. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Catches it, and that's all. Jacobs picks up about five yards on that hookup. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. Now he wants to get this kick away and change field position. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Florida State holds a field goal lead. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. From their own 18-yard line, second down. Brought down at the 15-yard line. You know, there's a reason why this guy gets all the honors. It's because he makes great plays like this look routine. sacked on the play. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Let's go, let's go, fellas, let's go. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 3-0, FSU. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Huber is back to receive. And this one is a beauty. Huber fields it at the 39. He's taken down at the 37. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Scrambling around, and they got him. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. So the sack makes this a second and long. He's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. the 32-yard line. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Florida can tie it up here with this kick. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Spartans were ranked 18th. After that face plant, 
They'll be lucky to be ranked at all next week. It felt as if the game rested on every play. Penn State comes away with the victory by six. 3-3 game here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Zips it right. When you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. From the 49-yard line, first down. He's taken down right around the 40. the 43. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. So it's third down now and they're going to need about four. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 32. From their own 32-yard line. First down. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. level at the 32-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. We've got third and ten. Ball on their own 32. tackled around the 49-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Got a man. Watch out here. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. They'll make the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. This is the eighth play of this drive. Steps out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. 
down, and they need to get it to the 15. And he's taken down around the 14-yard line. Wow. That looks like a generous spot to me. I thought he was a little bit short. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Fires to the end zone, picked off. It's a good play when a corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 15. there so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield finds his man and they take him down immediately so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go Feeds it to the back. Nice run to the outside. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down, and it allows them to continue to work this clock. Gets it out quickly. They'll drop him for a loss. That'll be a loss of one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 29. We played a half of football. 3-3 three, three tie. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Anderson, left side, and down he goes at about the 25-yard line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Makes it out to about the 27-yard line. And they make the stop around the 36-yard line. On third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Pressured and brought down. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead the turnover. Push him out at the 49. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Tackles him hard at the 42. Here's the eighth play of the series. That's 
a great tackle at the 37 yard line. Call it again in five yards. First down. From the 37 yard line. First down. Mike 14. Mike 14. And he hits him hard at the 34. Tenth play of the drive. Here's a run, and he stopped behind the line. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. He's got to throw it in a hurry, and they got him. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback in that play right there. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. down at the 23. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and six. to go long and done. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. Watch the pass. From their own 38-yard line. It's first down. Throws complete. He's hammered. From their own 41 yard line, it's third down. Makes it out to about the 49. There's a strike complete. He's taken down right around the 46 yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. So at the end of the third quarter, and this one's knotted up at three. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And now he pitches it. Knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And 
and he's immediately tackled. And this play is number eight on the drive. My 14, my 14. Ready? I go Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. And they hit him in the backfield. This is the 10th play of this drive. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. What a crucial interception. And that'll change the whole landscape of this game. And now is the time to take advantage. This offense still has a job to do. They need to put points on the board to break this time. But wow, do we have a great game or what? First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He makes his way to about the 42. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. He makes his way to about the 28. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. From the 26 yard line. Second down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That brings us third and twelve. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. They'll knock him down for a loss. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Now he's scrambling. Got him. They tried to throw for it, but ended up getting sacked. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 47. Just under three to go in regulation. Bring him down at about the 49. Receivers got it on the screen. Tackle made at the 43. From the 43 yard line, first down. Takes it right and brought down right away. And he 
his tackle right away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Roar, he'd like to change field position with this punt. Booming kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Kirk, I got to ask you, are these two offenses that anemic or are the defenses that good? I think it's a combination of both. I think both of these offenses have shown at times an ability to execute and put points on the board, but they're playing against two really good defenses. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. The ball pops free. Picked up by the defense. He makes it to the 18-yard line. So the ball will change hands, and that'll be first down. This guy is about as sure-handed as they come, but fumbles do happen, and you can chalk this turnover up to a very aggressive defense. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game, and if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through four quarters. Makes it out to about the 10. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Takes it left side, and he's brought down in the backfield. Florida just took their first time out. First and goal. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. And he is drilled at the one. Scrambling around. Keeps it and he's got a touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. And he converts the extra point. So a five-play, 18-yard drive, and the result, seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. The score now, 10-3. Last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He sails it long. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. Old-time football today. Low-scoring defensive battle, and it's final. 10-3, Gators. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Florida comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.